friends, it's Angel, and today I have for you another thrift haul. We have this big bag of mostly cloves. We only have one non-cloving item this haul, but oh, the rest is a ton of super aesthetic, they kind of all go together, cloves. I don't know why this happens, but sometimes when I go thrifting, everything ends up being like the same colors and styles. I don't know if it's because I find one thing, then I'm keeping an eye out for sort of similar things. And as always, some of these things will be going on my online shop, gingham underscore goose on Depop, Poshmark, and Macari. Typically the try on section of the video is where I really determine what I'm keeping and what is going on my shop. But if anything catches your eye, all my links are in the description down below. But I'm gonna quit rambling. We have a bunch of cute stuff to get through. First, I'm gonna start with the only non-clothing item of this haul. So if you've seen my other thrift videos, you know how much I love kids' plates. Usually Hello Kitty or Disney Princess, but I found this adorable, fairy one it's by martin gulliver and it is dishwasher safe but it was just so cute and pink and pastel i could not help myself it is just so cute now onto the clothing first i found two really cute sweatshirts first is this floral one it's by old navy and it's a size small i am really into floral sweatshirts as you can tell two of my favorite sweatshirts it was this plain dark pink one and a powerpuff girls one they've both become so pilly so i was really on the lookout for some new sweatshirts because i love just throwing them on they're so easy to style and make look super cute. So I hope this one does fit me. So hopefully I will be keeping it. Next, this is usually a pattern I do not pick up, but I found this pink and white checker pattern sweatshirt that is just so cute. I love the colors on it. It is by Grayson Threads and it's a size medium and it has a lovely fuzzy lining. This one I think should fit, so hopefully I will be keeping. Now onto the skirts. This thrift trip I only found one skirt, but it is really cute. Oh my goodness, it is so fairy. It has this tiny dainty floral pattern. It is by, I'm having trouble reading it, but here's the label. It does look vintage i would really love to keep this but i do not think it's the right size and this length i feel like it doesn't look the cutest on me so this one is going on the shop now i found some dresses usually i don't find cute dresses but i've been having really good luck in the dress section lately the thrift gods are smiling down upon me so first dress super fairy vibes it is this white eyelet lace long sleeve. It's by Hollister and it's a size large. I also love the skirt. It's tiered and that's like my favorite. I'm really hoping this will fit me cute. It does have a tie in the back. So I think it is a bit adjustable too. The only issue I could see is it might be too big in the shoulder, but I'm hoping with the tie, that's going to keep it from slipping off. But hopefully this does fit cute and I can keep it. Next, we have an amazing vintage piece. Since I picked it up, I have gone back to the thrift store and I keep seeing similar pieces. So I don't know if someone either had them in their casual wardrobe or if maybe it was for like a play or something and they got rid of the costumes. But it is this amazing almost 50s diner dress that is stripey it is such a cute color it is by the brand mandy and it's a size 11 12. i really hope this fits because i want to have more amazing vintage dresses in my closet just kind of to play dress up in in my closet clean out video i kind of showed some of the vintage dresses i've collected and hopefully this can be part of my collection too if it does fit cute, the only issue I 
potentially see with it is the waist might be too low for me. I have kind of a short torso, so the waist might be too low. It might need to be like up here for me, but we will see. Hopefully this fits and I can keep it. Next, we have some really cute lacy blouses. Here they are in a stack. I don't know if you can kind of see the color scheme that is coming together. It's all white and red and pink. And we're continuing that with these pieces. So first we have this cream lacy top with adorable little buttons. I thought this was so fairy, also very boho vibes. It is by Seseko and it's a size medium and it is completely sheer gonna be such a cute layering piece and it has these flower swirly details. I would love to keep this piece for myself but I know me any sheer pieces just sit in my wardrobe because I never know what to do with them. I feel like they require a little extra effort to style so yeah I just never wear sheer things. So this is going on my shop. Next we have a pink blouse. I would love to keep this for myself. I bet it's gonna look so cute on but it is sheer in the back and I don't think I'd know how to style that with a bra <laughs> showing through if you know what I mean. So this one is also going on my shop. Toby just showed up. Hi Toby. He was clawing on the door for me to let him in. Oh Come to say hi. You want to be in this video too? <laughs> He's just the star of the show. He's such a sweet guy, but he does get clingy. So sometimes we have to press pause on what we're doing to, <laughs> to give him some loves. If the camera position is different, he knocked it over. <laughs> no more filming, only Toby time. Isn't that right? No work, only Toby. Okay, he's plopped down in front of me. If you hear purring, you know who it is. Oh, <laughs> Toby. But a final lacy item we have. It's just this long sleeve cream top that is lacy and super stretchy. There's no brand or size. If you saw my closet clean out, I just got rid of two of these. I had a cream one and a pink one. I listed them on my shop and they got snapped up pretty much immediately so I figured I'd pick up another one. They are so cute and fairy. This is just such a fairy haul to be honest but this one is going on my shop. Now finally we have sleepwear and lingerie. This is the biggest category this haul. I found a bunch of cute lingerie pieces and a really cute sleepwear item which I will show you first. So first we have this amazing Minnie Mouse t-shirt that is super long. It is for bedtime. I love wearing oversized tees to bed. It is just the most cozy but it says caution I do not do mornings. So cute and sassy. I love the little flowers on it. I feel like I wore similar things to bed as like a baby in the early 2000s. So this just has like this nostalgic vibe and it's just so cute. I couldn't help myself. And it's gonna be so cozy to sleep in. This I am definitely keeping for myself. It is by Disney, of course, Minnie Mouse, and it's one size fits most. The print is in really nice condition too. Some items in the pajama section are not in the best condition. They were well loved, but this looks great. And I can't wait to wear it to bed. So this one I am definitely keeping. Now we have some lingerie. First, I found some really cute bloomers. First, we have this peachy pear. Look how cute. This I just could not resist. It's very coquette vibes and it's pretty shiny satin. It is a size small but no brand but these are most likely going on my shop. I do not think these will fit me. Next we have more eyelet lace. This time in a cute pair of 
bloomers. Maybe these are more like pajama shorts, but they are so cute. Very lightweight, a bit sheer, but honestly, these would be really nice to sleep in in the summer, I bet. It's by the brand Two, and it is a size 12. This one I am also going to list on my shop. Next, we have an item I am so excited about. I never find corsets at the thrift store, but I found this white corset with a cute little flower. It is so adorable. I desperately hope this fits me. I did have a white corset like this before, but it does not fit anymore. And I was going to sell it, but I did a load of laundry. It was a big load of laundry of things I was going to sell that were in my closet a while. This happened a while back, like last year. And yeah, all of it ended up with this pink dye smeared all over it. I have no clue where it came from. I looked in the dryer and yeah, it was just the worst. It sucked, but I found this one, which I hope fits and won't get covered in pink. It is by the brand Dominique and it's a C, a 38C, which is not my size, but we'll see if we can squeeze into it. Cause I think this would be so great as like a base for styling things, especially sheer things. I could finally wear sheer things and make them look cute. So hopefully this fits. Final two items. First, we have one that is breaking the color combo that we had going but i have to show you it is this adorable teal dress look how cute and it has this cute sheer hem it also has lots of lace cutouts and little rhinestones and the cutest little bow it's by shirley of hollywood and it's a size medium and it is just an adorable slip this one is also going on the shop. Now a final item. If you're a fan of this channel, you may know I love sleep sets. So I found this adorable satin sleep set, peach and cream colored. And here are the shorts that go with it. It is just the cutest set. I really hope this fits me, but Usually the sets don't for whatever reason. It is the cutest color combo with this light pink and cream lace, but we will see if it fits. It is, I think, a 2X, both of them, so hopefully it does fit. So freaking cute. Very coquette vibes too. But that is it. Now it is time for the try on. Wah! <laughs> voiceover angel here's what i am keeping from this haul i am so happy the corset fit okay bye hello so that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed and do comment down below what your favorite item out of the haul was mine might just be the fairy plate or the vintage diner dress thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing I love reading you guys' comments. You always leave the sweetest comments. But new videos every Saturday. I also post a vlog once a week, either on Thursday or Friday, depending on my workload. Sometimes it takes me an extra day to edit. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!